I, I want to ask a uh, guy starting at chess at 20 can become a GM. No, but I would say this. That should not be your goal if you're starting chess at 20. Your goal should be to try and... I would say if you want to be fairly serious, you're competitive, and you, you have that sort of mindset, I think you should set a target of about 2,000. I think that's a pretty good goal. 2,000 is a good goal. Okay, so I'm gonna go knight eight, knight eight, six, and knight c seven next move. Okay, so I'm gonna play g six, bishop g seven here and keep it pretty simple. You spend so much time nodding your head to music, I wouldn't be surprised if you accidentally do it over the board. Of course, obviously. That's <laughs> not not clear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's take the knight. Let's go knight e six, hit the bishop, hit the pawn. I like my position here. Am I nationalist by heart? I don't know what you mean by nationalist. Do you mean am I like very proud of the US? Or what, what do you mean? I mean, is that is that what you is that what you mean? Okay, are, are we gonna have to play this? Okay, you're you're asking you're, you're you're really asking for it, you guys. You're you're asking for it. Um You're asking for it. Here we go. Good knight e6 here, hit the bishop. To the pawn on e5, I can obviously go bishop e5. I can play knight knight here. I can also go h6. Take with the knight. Knight of five here. I bishop h6. Nine 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 e6 is actually really really good. They have made sure for the two months. My boy, go get him. I kind of go bishop h6 to hit the queen. All right, so I guess I just go e6 and castle here. Let's go f5 here. Uh, really nice position here. I have a lot of pawns. Let's keep going. Um, What can I play here? Is this an opening? This is called... Oh, let's play the Kadas opening. Okay, let's get back to the real music. Sorry, I just had to play it. I had to play it for you guys. Um, okay, let's go uh, g3. Can, this be, can that be my theme song for the candidates? It's all good. But anyway, no, you guys. I'm, I'm not really like that. I'm not... I mean, I, I would just say this. Um, actually, I'll say this. I'll, I'll, I'll actually use an example. So, of course, I mean, obviously, I think, I think I've been very lucky with my circumstances growing up in the U.S. Obviously, I've been afforded opportunities that never, that ne that never would have been possible elsewhere. But, I mean, at the same time, I, I think it's very naive to... Thank you to Achilles Paulino for the 25 gifted. I think it's very naive to think that, like, any any country has like a perfect history or everything is great you know things are the way they are um but you know it's it's for example my, my grandmother is is in the mojave desert and not so far from the mojave desert is is manzanar which was basically like an internment camp for or internment maybe it's the wrong word uh no that is the right word i think it was like an internment camp um uh for japanese americans during world war ii and i think that anytime you see such things no, I was I was I was confusing internment and concentration. I mean, obviously we know. I mean, there there is a very big difference between the two. Um, but what I was saying is like you know what, ha having having read stories have, when you see stuff like that, it's very um, it's uh, of course it's 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 a good reminder that yeah. I mean, obviously I've you know I've, I've had a great life, but you should be aware that you know it's not always like no, no country has has a perfect history. Okay, I'm gonna go queen a three here. Or I could even give you, I could even give you a, uh, I could even give you a better example. Like having been in Hiroshima, like, I mean, it's, there are a few things that are as like, uh, stomach churning as, uh, as going to, as going to the memorial. There's probably nothing in the world that's as like, 
I mean, as unpleasant of an experience. Okay, I'm gonna play knight h3 here and um, a knight f4 next move. Just letting letting you guys know that Hikaru's I'm on Hacker News New Yorker. Yeah, I heard there was some article. I'll take a look at it. Um, Lyric B1. Okay, Auschwitz. I mean, okay, I've I've never been there, but I have been to the I have been to the Holocaust uh, uh, Museum Memorial in in Washington D.C. And yeah, it's pretty terrible what humans can do to each other. It's it's unfathomable. Let me leave it that way. Play play here. Check in H5. And checkmate. Thank you to Gary Chan for the two gifted subs. Appreciate it. Let's keep going. All right. Um. Okay. What can I play here? Let's let's play the Nimzovich Larson. I have to be careful because this could occur in, a, in an actual candidates game. So I'm going to go 9d2 here. Play g3, bishop g2. When a Marine gets the title Marine, we get our Eagle Globe and anchor that song by Lee Greenwood. Nice. Castle play f4. Go a4 here. Uh, let's go f4 here i guess i'll go knight c4 and put pressure on the pawns on d6 and e5 here and go from there can we do a view reign after arena kings um maybe maybe we'll see what we'll see what the plan is if your mom was a teacher how did she homeschool you for tournaments uh she she wasn't she was she she wasn't teaching she wasn't teaching elementary school at that point um she she had stopped teaching taking take on f6 so i should be winning here i can take on f6 it's all all pretty good is homeschooling making a comeback i don't really know um but i, I would just say for for me to play chess i, I had to be homeschooled there was i had no other choice uh, no other choice. Hassan is a something. Come on, you guys, relax. He's an entertainer first and foremost. Okay, so let's take the knight here. And we win again. The good thing is everybody's resigning quickly, so this might be a quick speed run. Okay, so we're playing Khan from... Is that is that pa Pakistan? Or is that Afghanistan? It's Pakistan, okay. Uh, let's play E5, because of course I'm not going to play E5 in the candidates, right? No chance of playing E5 in the candidates. Um, so let's play E5. Am I the oldest player in the cans? No, I'm not. Uh, second oldest. Please d4. Can I play a wayward queen? He plays a center game. Um. Let's go to c6 here. We're playing the Nimzovich defense Kennedy variation. So apparently it's named after... Uh, or no, now it changed... It's the Kennedy Link Springer variation. Kennedy Link Springer variation. What's that supposed to mean? Does that mean JFK played this when he was in Germany or something? Link Springer. Let's go to knight g6 here. Go bishop b4. No, this opening is called. It says Nimzovich defense Kennedy Link Springer variation. Did, did JFK play some like some like some some chess game when he when he was in Berlin? You know, doing his famous speech or something. Let's take and go knight f6 here. Why the Hassan hate? Oh, I, I don't I don't actually dislike Hassan. He's a good entertainer, but a lot of people don't like him because, I mean, he espouses certain views that I think a lot of people don't don't agree with, including myself. But he's an entertainer first. Play h6 and take on f6. Oops, there goes the bishop. I have knight g2. I have knight g6, and it's all pretty good. Say the line. Say the line. Uh, ich bin ein und Berliner. Let's go knight h5, knight f4. Yeah. I, I want to ask a guy starting at chess 20 can become a GM. No, but I would say this, that should not be your goal. If you're starting chess at 20, your goal should be to try and I would say, if you want to be fairly serious, you're competitive and you, you have that sort of mindset. I think you should set a target of about 2000. I think that's a pretty good goal. 2000 is a good goal. Um, and just make, make sure you enjoy it. Cause again, like getting to like GM or beyond, it's just like for most people, it's very, very, um, it's very, uh, it's very stressful. Let's leave it at that. Let's go 92, 93. Oh, it's Ig Bin Ein Un. It's Ig Bin Ein Berliner. Oh, there's no Un. Okay. Um. Egan Castle here. Everybody's suddenly resigning, which is kind of weird. Maybe they know it's me. Um. Okay, we got another English opening. Let's see. If I play, what is this? Is this still the English? 
Let's go G5, Bishop G7, Fianchito. I played a Grob earlier, yeah. I had to rewatch yesterday's stream to write down the openings. Yeah, some of them are a little bit unusual. Let's go D6. Um, I mean, it's one game that I lost in Odebrecht. It's not a big deal, you guys. Um, but hey, he is very talented, though. I mean, again, like joking aside, he is a very talented player. Let's go G4, attack the Knight. I do have E5 next move. Let's go E5. Oops, there goes the Knight. But it's all, he's also an example of why... Um, why chess is so difficult because even though he won the world world rapid which is phenomenal perform f phenomenal performance for him uh he still doesn't really stand out objectively there are a lot of people who are in that range like a lot of juniors like 26 30 to like 26 80 who are really really strong and there aren't really enough opportunities for all of them across the board so even though he has that great performance it's still very very difficult um so i'm gonna go knight c5 or bishop d7 here i also have h4 h3 I just realized I played against you. Congrats, Jam, too. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Okay, now I can play N Peasant. Let's go M Peasant and take on G3. Uh, let's just take here. A uh, Shugarov is strong too. Cinderov. The Shugarov's not young though. You're thinking of a Cinderov. I mean, Cinderov is Cinderov has a lot of potential too. I mean, he, he's another one who, to watch for sure. Let's take and let's take. Uh, I saw there was a New York article. I have it on one of my other tabs for later uh, to read, and we'll, we'll take a look at it. I was told that I should read on stream, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. Do I know where the Kansas is being held? It's being held in um, it's being held in Spain. Unfortunately, it's being held in Madrid. Um, it would have been nicer if it was held in just about any other city in Spain. But what can you do? Let's play Rook H8 here, um, and play like Rook H3 maybe. Take the pawn. I'm um, gonna go from there. WTF? Oh, Madrid is completely fine. I don't actually dis I, I don't dislike Madrid, but I mean, compared to the beach cities like Barcelona, I mean, all of Catalonia, all of the north, like Bilbao, San Sebastian. I mean, like the, there's like there's some really, really amazing spots. OK, he plays F4, E5. Now he's playing the Fromm's Gambit. So I'm going to go Knight F3 here. Yeah. No, Madrid is fine as a city. It's just like there, there are places that I've been to in Spain that are amazing. Like, imagine if they held it. They should have held it in like Ibiza or something. That would have been that would have been amazing. Let's go Knight C3 here and Knight B5. I have been to Madrid. Yes, I have. Uh, on I think two or three occasions. I did a simul there many years ago, actually. You can't enjoy beaches. You are a chess player, right? The the classic. Uh, you're a chess player. You can't have hobbies. You can't enjoy anything else in life. You, you, only chess only chess let's go bishop d3 here yeah okay let's just castle here that's true yeah no no yes only chess only chess no no fun no fun no fun no hobbies just just chess yeah uh i host the candidates on the tents on the beaches of ibiza yeah that'd be amazing yeah i would pay big bucks to see pro chess with parting in ibiza yeah You'll, you'll find Magnus and Dubov there with those. Oh, um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go Knight C4 here. Now my Knights are really connected. Very, very good. Let's just take with the Knight here. Um, okay. Let's see. What's he going to do? Let's go Bishop G5, target the Knight, target H7. Canada's needs your full attention. How is Ali Reza prepping since he doesn't play any events? Is he getting rusty? I don't know what Ali Reza is doing. Like I said, I don't, I don't really like the Ali Reza approach, and I'll tell you why. Because the reason I don't like that approach um, is, first of all, it hasn't really worked well for certain players. Fabiano being a very good example. After the Candace was postponed the first half, of it, Fabiano did not play anything. Nothing online, nothing over the board. He just studied for the second half of the Candace, and it did not work out well for him. Um... So historically, that approach has not worked out very well, uh, which is why I don't like it. Secondly, when you when you do have that approach, it's basically all or nothing. Like you really, what's going to happen is if Ali Reza does not win the candidates or doesn't do very well there, uh, he's gonna he's gonna get criticized very heavily for that for not for not playing any tournaments. And there's no in between because it's an all or none approach. Um, so which also I think only adds the massive pressure that's already on him. So those are the two reasons that I really don't like that approach for for Ali Reza because again, if you play tournaments. Um, sure, you know, maybe you could say you could prep more, but just cold turkey not playing at all, I think is a big mistake. Go queen f7 here and keep going. Rajabov have a shot. He hasn't played at all either. I guess over the board he has. He did really well in the online tour though. Um, okay, let's play the Amar opening.
Did I see Gary on Sienna a couple weeks ago regarding his book and Putin? No, I, I mean, I'm not a big politics guy. It's just not my thing, honestly. I, I just, I don't like politics. Let's go knight f2 here. Go e4 here. I guess I'm gonna go uh, a3 and b4 here and keep going. Or knight c4 to hit the bishop. This guy's playing pretty seriously so far. Is this a bot? Why does he have this picture? He looks like a bot with that picture. Yeah, I mean, this this picture is... Uh, he looks like a bot. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Let's get back to the game. Um, okay, let's just go B4 here. Go G4. iPhone enjoyer? <laughs> okay, yeah. Can I play a Ben Oni? Uh, okay, there's a free knight. He's definitely not a box. He took on G4, that's for sure. Is the stream going to re, re upload on YouTube? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not actually sure. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else, though. Yeah, politics just isn't my jam. It, it isn't my jam. I mean, I have my opinions, but I just, I don't know. It's, I, it, politics is just divisive. And these days, it, it, all it does is separate people. Take with pawn. I guess I just take um take the knight, maybe knight g4 next move. Now the knights are really, really good on g4 and c4. Very, very nice position. I studied political science at college. What changed in heart? What what why the change of heart? Well, that was like 2008. That was uh was that 2008? No, that was 2006. I feel like politics in 2006 was a lot different than now as well. This seems like a dick move to play at 1200 rating. I like it. Well, it's a speed run, you guys. Everybody gets their rating points back at the end of the day. Okay, I can also play Knight of Six. Oh, you're saying you're saying why don't I have an interest in politics? Is because I became an adult. <laughs> I like that. I, I swear. Sometimes when I look at politics, I do feel like you see these politicians. You're like, are these actually adults or are they just like little kids throwing tantrums sometimes? Um. Let's take with the king here. If I had a time machine, what year would I go to? Um, if I had a time machine, do, now do you mean if I had a time machine where I could only go and not come back, or do you mean where I could go, come back, and like be an actual like time traveler with, with like a true time machine? Do you mean like H.G. Wells? Do you mean do you mean that or not? Go and come back. So if I could go and come back through, throughout history, um. Uh, where would I go? Honestly, you know, I feel like I would probably, I would be fascinated to go back to probably uh, around like 200 BC, 300 BC during the time period when like Alexandria was like, uh, was, was, a, was a center of civilization and, and culture and learning. I probably would go there for starters. I'd probably go there. I'd just be fascinated. I'd love to go to the library at Alexandria. That'd be step one for sure. Step one. I would want to, I would want to go and read all those papyrus scrolls that, uh, at the library in Alexandria. That's where that, that, that would be step one. Um, step two, I don't really feel like the Middle Ages, there isn't really anything I feel like, oh, okay, fair enough, we got an, it gets aborted. Um, only elites get to read, yeah. So, okay, let's play the French, because of course it's not gonna happen, right? Actually, is this, is this a variation? I feel like this H6 is some kind of variation. French defense knight variation. Okay, let's take with the queen. But that would be number one. I, I would want to go back. I would want to go back there. Um, I'd memorize the entire library. True. Uh, <laughs> that that'd be number one. Uh, beyond that, are there other periods I'd really want to go to? Cause, I mean, I, I am an ancient history buff. Like I love ancient history. It's my it's my jam. Um, beyond that, is there any other time period that I really like want to go see? I mean, I feel like that. Yeah, that's that's the right time period. Um, 
trying to oh c6 traps the bishop but um yeah you're a homo yes we are all homo sapiens thank you very much for that that uh comment dude um congrats let's play bishop d5 all right um what, what are the moves um yeah uh what, what are the other moves i'm trying to think um not moves what other time period i would go to um uh dinosaurs probably that's too that's th nothing was happening then um uh, so i would castle here i would probably be very interesting to go back to like the uh maybe like the uh 1910s maybe 1920s before like cars became really before uh before the invent really the modernization of cars maybe about there something like that maybe that'd be a second period possibly look for atlantis come on you guys Atl atlantis doesn't exist Atlantis doesn't exist. They see five here. 1912? No, probably not 1912. What? What? What is the? Uh, what? What is the? What did I say something wrong? Atlantis does not exist, you guys. Come on, seriously. Take it back. Isn't Atlantis a casino? Right. Yeah, exactly. Canceled. Wait, what? Go here. Am I missing something? Is there some kind of joke here that I'm missing? Why is everyone losing their mind over my Atlantis comment? Let's go C4 here. Atlantis was found in Antarctica. <laughs> good one, good one. XCC found Atlantis on stream. Everyone knows that. Okay, you guys. Let's go Rook C8 here and Rook C4. Rook D5. Offended a whole nation. Atlanta is real. Atlanta and Atalanta are both real cities. Yeah. Let's go Rook C1 here and double stack the Rooks on the back rank. Atlanta is real. Atlanta is not real. Atlantis is real. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's play V6. Next to the E-Car, we'll tell Santa Claus is not real. Okay, let's play Bishop V7. Let's go E6 here. Um, yeah. Yeah, Ben Feingold wants to talk to everybody about Atlanta. Atlanta's a great place. I like Atlanta a lot. Uh, let's play Knight of 6 here. Actually, I, I the funny thing about Atlanta is I actually own a, I own a property in Atlanta in a place that's trying to... Um, they're trying to separate from... They're trying to, like they're they're trying to like break away from the state of georgia there's like this one county and they're, they're trying to break away they're trying to separate completely and not have to pay taxes and things um i can play d4 here maybe queen d5 um i can actually go d3 because i can take and take the rook yeah buckhead buckhead yeah it's buckhead exactly yeah yeah they're trying they're trying to like separate separate from georgia Just take. I can also play Rook D2. If Atlantis is not real, explain. Um, if Atlantis is not real, explain Aquaman. Yeah. Oh, separate from Fulton County. Okay. Okay. What can I play here? So he plays the Van Cruis, Van Cruij opening, or um, let's go here. Play D5. Keep it solid. I guess I'll just go G6, Bishop G7, Knight. Let's keep it simple here. Uh, let's go E6. Keep it, keep it, keep it rolling. Use different pieces I could, but there's no need to. Go 97 and castles here. Just simple development. Very happy times. Oops, there goes a pawn. Okay, this is, we're actually fl flying up the rating. We're already 1,300 pretty quickly. Let's go C6, trap the bishop on B, B5. No no, no moves. 
Play with the Wayward Queen. I did play the Wayward Queen before. Hikaru, Atlantis was perhaps a Minoic civilization destroyed by a tsunami. Yes, I'm aware of the history of Atlantis. I mean, I, I know that they've hypothesized where it could be. But again, there, there really are no remains. Or, there are no places geographically where it makes sense, objectively. Um, and there's nothing even resembling what, what Plato was describing to be Atlantis. Like, there's, no, there's nowhere where it, it all fits together the way that it should if it truly existed. Yeah, let's take and go D4 here. Let's go D4, hit the knight on C3. Um, take. Atlantis is real. I can't hear anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's play the grob here. Let's go G5. Sasquatch? Uh, Sasquatch um, is not real either. No, I'm sorry, guys. Let's play e4. I'm sorry, guys. Let's play a4 and a5, maybe. <laughs> Liars, there's a whole show. Yeah, let's go knight c3 here. I'm sorry, but what is this opening? Oh, wait, my move didn't go through. This is, uh, this is the uh, Sparta opening. Look how much joy it gets. Well, it's just, it makes me laugh. It's, it's, it's good. You guys are good. What about pyramids? Pyramids are real. I've seen them. They're in, um, they're in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Let's go D5 and take the knight on C4 here. Thank you to Janitov for the prime. Thanks so much to Janitov. Appreciate it. Um, so here we go. All right. Um, I, I've also seen pyramids in, uh, there's a pyramid in Las Vegas too. Okay. So D5, I should be winning material here. It should be very, very good. Yeah. Thank you to Kosiski for the tier one. Thank you so much. Everybody knows pyramids are a conspiracy theory. Who was it who said that? Wasn't it Ben Carson who said, didn't Ben Carson say they, uh, didn't he say the pyramids were like, they stored grain? Didn't he say they like stored rice and grain or something, something in the pyramids? Or didn't he say something like that or am I wrong? He said something, something really strange. Uh, let's go check here. Take the pawn, I should be winning. All right, we're up to 13, a couple more to go. 